I'm not worried that your dad will challenge the adoption star. But I would understand if you were. My dad admitted to planning on stealing the baby. I know, and I know that sounds crazy, but... Star, he did that because he loves you. He didn't want you to regret giving this baby away. I wanted what was best for her. That's why I wanted you to be her mom. Back then? I mean, you know, back then there were... Well, there were a lot of people in this town who... When it trusted me with a pet rock. But you trusted me. You trusted me with your baby. Even when I wasn't sure if I deserved another chance. You were. You believed I could be a good mom. I believe that you were the best possible mother for my baby. You don't believe that anymore, do you? Why would you do something like that? I, I think that you're blowing this thing out of proportion. No, I don't think that I am because you just drove my boyfriend and his parents away from his own graduation party. Or is it my fault that he didn't tell his parents that the two of you were having sex? No, I told you that they are very old school and very religious. Well, sex is nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, please. Look, I know that my uncle dumped you, but that does not give you the right to make everybody else as miserable as you are. Do something. What are you saying? That I ruined the party intentionally? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why don't I get you ladies something to eat? Maurice, butt out. Well, that's kind of a tall order with the way you've been acting. Oh, and how have I been acting? Like a two-year-old. You trashed my terrace. My terrace. La Boule is my house. You signed it over to us. Oh, no, 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 no. I temporarily allowed you to, to, to run amok in the place until my lawyers could get me out of this mess. What are you talking about? I... <laughs> I'm happy to tell you that it's taken a while, but my lawyers have now dismantled every single document that I signed. And this house is now mine. But we live here. Not anymore. You're kicking them out? Just wait a minute. No, 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 no. You stay out of this, Sean. What was my friend and what happens to him is definitely my business. Oh, really? Well, then, you can take him and your other little friend and just get out of here. Little friend? And get the hell off my property! Sean, you're fired. Little friend, bye-bye. Maurice and Noel, start packing. You are evicted. Now, you hold on just a minute. Oh. Get it, Mo. We never belonged here in the first place. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna finish it. Order, Watch ladies, this. please. Hey, Todd, why don't you ask Tay about that deep, dark secret she's never told a living soul? Order. Order. Ms. Delgado, I will be reporting your actions to the bar. You may step down. In light of this new evidence, we'll adjourn for a brief recess while I reconsider my decision. Counsel, approach the bench. You son of a bitch. Relax, we'll figure something out. No, no, we won't. You just got me disbarred. Well, I told you I wasn't going to lose my kids. They're all I've got left. Yeah, you're right about that. Hey, did you really say that I was the love of your life? Yeah, emphasis on a was. I don't understand what's going on here. I never stopped believing that you were a good mother. I know that. And you love her. So do you. I know that. I always will. And someday when she gets older, I'll tell her that that's why I gave her up. Because I love her. What else will you tell her, Star? What do you mean? About the adoption. You're trying so hard to be very brave, but you could barely even sign those papers. And the look on your face when you put her in my arms, Star, it broke my heart. It was 
looks a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I know. But that's just because she's real now. She just thinks that she that she likes and thinks that she doesn't. <laughs> she has her own personality. It's kinda like you. Why are you doing this? I'm doing this. I have made my decision. And someday I'll be alright. Someday you'll regret this decision, Star. You're not the same girl you were six months ago. You've changed. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. You've suffered a loss most people don't even want to think about, and you got through it. Star, you've grown up. What are you getting at? When you asked me to raise your baby, you weren't ready to be a mom, but you are now. You are. And if you want to raise this baby, then I want you to raise this baby. I have never seen you like this. You've certainly seen me fire employees before. Mo, Noelle, and Sean were more than employees. They were friends who took care of us. Mo, what did my uncle do to you? Ray? I hardly remember him. You purposely told Marco's parents that we had sex, and they're gonna hate me now. You're behaving like a monster. Oh, and what about how you are behaving? You know, you better stop copying an attitude with me, young lady. Attitude? I'm trying to get through to you because you're hurting people who care about you. Mo and Noel? Okay, what about Sean? He would die for you. And what about Marco? I care about him. See, I, I didn't do anything to Marco. Oh, no. This was supposed to be one of the happiest days of his life, and you ruined that. No, you've had about enough of this. Wait a minute. You give that back to me. Well, good for you. Got any idea how much this stuff costs? Oh, yeah? You like it so much? Swim in it. Ah! Dad, just, just let me explain. Explain what? Why you lied to us? I told you, Lex and I were going out after prom. You said you were taking her to a party. At a friend's house with adult supervision. And then spend the rest of the night camping with your cousin. Look, I didn't tell you guys the truth because I knew you'd freak out. Oh, I see. Perhaps you'd like us to be more like Langston's mother. Who gives her daughter condoms. <sighs> well, at least she doesn't treat her like a kid. You are a kid. I'm 18. So you don't have to respect your parents? I do respect you. I love you. But I love Langston, too. Doesn't that count for anything? You know how we feel about intimacy before marriage. Well, maybe someday we will get married. Not if we have anything to say about that. You're forbidden to see that girl again. Or her dreadful mother. What?